Thank you for joining us today for A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I'm Vanessa Keaton. There's a common myth out there that you can't go back to your hometown and be in recovery. Well, I want you to meet today Christina Blanton, who was able to do just that. So Christina, tell me a little bit about your story and what it's been like recovering in your hometown. So I spent probably 20 years in active addiction. Um, I did a lot of things I wasn't proud of, run a lot of relationships. Um, I was in and out of the court system. I was in and out of jail. I definitely wasn't the mother that I always hoped to be. Um, so I finally made the decision to go to treatment a few years back. And during that time, everyone was telling me, you can't go back to your hometown. You need to relocate. You need to maybe look into housing here. You need, but a piece of my heart was here. Like I have a really good supportive family. Um, my parents are still married. I have a son and I didn't feel like I got clean and sober to live away from everything that was important to me, you know? Yeah. Um, so I prayed a lot and made a plan and kind of really looked at my options. And something told me I needed I needed to come to the place that I called home. So it wasn't very long, and I knew I wanted to work in treatment. Yeah, I hadn't even unpacked my belongings <laughs> whenever I got got this position and started my journey at home. And I feel like wow. I feel like it's possible anywhere. Um, I definitely can see that God had a plan because it worked so smoothly. I came home, you know. I started working in treatment. I get to work now on the other side with people that, you know, at one time I was the negative impact. I, they were the people with authority over me and now I get to work with them. I get to talk to them and work with them, get ideas how they, we can help people together. And it's really like the coolest thing. Um, for a long time I put my family's name through the mud, you know, like sure. I just, everyone knew who I was and it wasn't for a good reason. Right. Um, so now it's just, it's really cool to work every day doing something I love, doing something I'm passionate about. Um, and a lot of the people that I get to work with are people that I knew from active addiction. Wow. So it's a little bit of hope that someone like us could could do it, you know? Yeah. Oh, I absolutely do. That's awesome. So you mentioned that you made a plan mm -hmm. um, before you came, and obviously it was part of God's plan, and we do know that. Mm -hmm. But tell me a little bit more about what types of things that you knew you had to have planned before you did come back to your hometown in recovery. So for me, uh, some of that was building some support, some calling some women, talking to them, um, you know, building relationships before I ever left where yes. I was. Um, building those connections to, to where I knew I have my family, you know, but they aren't in a program like I am. So it's important yeah. to have people that have been through what you've been through to talk to. Um, also got a list of like meetings in the area and started attending them on Zoom uh, really early on and just getting plugged in to the people who were trying to do better. Yes, oh my gosh. That plugged in piece is pivotal in anyone's recovery. So that's the biggest part of what you knew you had to do. You had mm -hmm. to be plugged into recovery to be able to come back home, to surround your people with like minds who were wanting something better in life. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. I absolutely love that. And I'm so proud of you. I know that you're in the Ashland area and you are helping people every day. And I'm certain that you are that bright, shining light that they need to see when they come. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being with us and for sharing your story. Back to you in the station.